Happy New Year! Feliz Año Nuevo! Akemaste omete to gozaimasu! The legend of W is back in near reincarnation. So, in the last video, I went through the first part of the second season story arc known as The Sun and the Moon. So, if you haven't seen the last video, make sure to go ahead and check it out. Now, we're gonna move on to the brand new record event called Festive Fountain, which features our very own Gale in her festive outfit, which looks pretty good from what I see. I mean, I wish we could get a full shot, you know, that, that'd be a nice suggestion to the dev team. But anyways, we're gonna move on to uh, exchange before we continue with the quest. Uh, we have Gale in her blackened plumage uh, with the New Year's Hunter, which is a dark sword. And of course, we have all the extras that uh, we all know and we grind. Uh, well, at least some grind. Uh, the mama medals, uh, the slabs, explorer tickets, uh, the ruby, aquamarine, all the stones. Well, not, well, yeah, all the stones. And of course, the insignias and all the extra stuff if you need it, of course. Now, back to the event. Um, I don't know. I think we might get some trouble. Uh, might get a lot of celebration included so let's find out what this is about so let's go more of you come to die hey everybody's uh in their new year outfit I, d I don't know win record festive fountain part one in a distant village people busy themselves with new year's festivities it looks pretty dark all right Within this place lies a beautiful spring, known as the Fountain of Hope. Hmm. Today, a woman stares at this most hallowed sight with ferocity in her eyes. Gail, wh why, why would you... Nearby men turn their leering gazes on her fine features. <laughs> I mean, she look kind of good. But after their eyes rest on her for a moment, they quickly find other ways to occupy their time. Ooh. For the woman's left arm and leg are military prosthetics, tools of war that shine dully in the setting sun. Hmm. The scent of blood and death hangs about the woman. Yeah. All right, all right, Gail. <laughs> she is an omen of calamity. Mm, that's why. And it is the expectation of catastrophe that has brought her to this place. Okay. For she was told by an informant that the loathsome kingdom is targeting the village. Ooh. The kingdom knows the villagers let their guard down during the New Year's festivities, and it now schemes to lay them low in one fell swoop. Damn, that's terrible. The fact they are using clockwork men for this deed tells the woman it will be a massacre. Deaths beyond counting. This is real bad. Like, why? Let them celebrate. She knows the assault can come at any time. So as the people increase their revelry, her watchful eye grows ever more keen. Mm. Suddenly, she finds herself approached by children clad in strange and exotic costumes. I mean, if there were redheads, I, I would have thought they were Devil and Popola for a moment there. <laughs> Easy, she reminds herself. They're not part of the kingdom's plan, they're just kids. Yeah, <laughs> just kids. She like... expects the young ones to scatter when they see her false limbs. But to her great surprise, they instead mm. gather around her with bright, shining smiles. I think, I think the kids think she looks cool with cool arms and legs, you know? All right, so let's see what happens next. Bring us the boss, an outfit, nothing, not even a hat, something to celebrate the brand new year. We still won. Record Festive Fountain Part Two. 
You're not the scared of me? are costumed as fairies. A tradition of long standing in this part of the world. Hmm. As the bewildered woman looks on, one of them steps forward and speaks. Hmm. Did your wish come true this year, ma'am? As she contemplates her answer, one of the children holds out an offering on the palm of their hand. That's nice. Well, what is it? A charm? It is an intricately carved glass bead filled with water from the spring. Mm. A ghostly sort of moonlight shimmers on its surface as it wobbles back and forth. That's nice. It's a good luck charm, says the child. We make them here. Okay. The woman recalls how she had seen the children running through town earlier, handing small baubles to the adults. This must be one of their traditions. A rite where kids dress as wish-granting fairies and hand out <laughs> charms to everyone they meet. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty nice, you know? As understanding dawns, the woman's brow furrows. She does not have time for such folly. Come on, Gail. Don't be like that. Others need this more than me, she says, placing the charm back into the stunned child's hand. That's so mean. Give it to them instead. No. She looks away, hoping to avoid the child's eyes. Hmm. She does not need charms, or luck, or rights. She needs only revenge. She does uh. not have the capacity to wish for everyone to be saved. It is simply not in her nature. The children stare at her, confused by her tragic expression. Hmm. Then, not knowing what else to do, they say the words that complete the right. We hope all your wishes come true. Time passes. She waits. She waits? What? At midnight, fireworks blaze across the sky to herald the arrival of the new year. That's great. Their brilliance signals the climax of the festivities. The village and surrounding lands are bathed in a warm, flickering glow. Cool. Everybody's celebrating. One that reveals a heavily armored force moving slowly over the horizon. Oh no. That is, that is terrible. Oh god, this is gonna be very bad. Yay! Happy New Year! Uh, oh boy! Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Eliminate. Uh, it's gonna get, it's gonna get bad. Record, Festive Fountain, Part 3. Oh. Fireworks turn the night sky to dawn. It, yes. Explosions spiral flesh and bone high into the air. The fountain yes. of hope bubbles quietly. It bubbles. Blood trickles from the mouths of the dying. Hmm. The festival, once a celebration, has become a rondo of despair. Wow, this is... A clockwork soldier Not. with dead eyes raises his fist before the group of wish-granting children who can only cling to their charms and pray. Terrible. A flash. The screeching of metal on metal. The woman has blocked the soldier's attack with her sword. Good, Gale. Good. The look on her face is a thing beyond words, beyond reason. Oh. That perhaps must enraged, be scary. Perhaps conflicted. She pushes the soldier back and cleaves him cleanly in two. Oof. 
protect the children. She then hurries the children into a nearby house. It will be difficult to save them on her own. Perhaps impossible. But she intends to try. Okay. Be silent, she says. With any luck, your parents are still. Her words Alive. falter and die in the dark. Mm. Uh. Bloodied clockwork men begin emerging from nearby homes, oh, one no. after the other. No, 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 please, no. Each carries the corpse of a parent high in the air, as if displaying the fruits of a great hunt. Oh my god. Lit by the explosion of a firework, she can see it all far too clearly. This is how we celebrate the new year, huh? Really? The children begin to scream. As if realizing their work is yet incomplete, the soldiers casually drop their prizes and turn to the sound. Fear grips the woman, but she buries it deep inside and makes ready their escape. Somehow, Impossibly, she manages to lead them all to the outskirts of town. Wow. I, that's incredible. And when she turns back to see it in flames, she suddenly realizes what must be done. What must be done? Maybe to destroy all these soldiers. I... And here we go, the last boss. Easy, just one Enemy swipe. Go to P. Boom. Easy. And we just see a bunch of houses in the background. This might be bad. Record. Festive Fountain Part 4. The final part. The woman orders the panicked children to hide. Oh boy. They are sobbing. Inconsolable. This is our fault, they wail. What? Our charms were not powerful enough. No, no. Actually, says the woman, I would like one of those charms now. Her voice is gentle, soothing. It is a thing so, so unfamiliar to her. Yeah, that's great. It's Yet smooth. it is the same voice she used all those years ago with the one she held so dear. Yeah. The one she tried so hard to save. Mm hmm It is a voice that soothes the weakened, and it works a kind of calming magic on the children. Yeah. She takes one of the good luck baubles in hand before turning back to town. As the children begin to pray, they grip their remaining charms tightly enough to leave deep marks on the palms of their tiny hands. It's scary. To think the kingdom would try to steal hope from one so young. Yeah, this kingdom is evil. Like, really, really evil. They are beyond forgiveness. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but rather than rage, it is hope that drives her toward battle this day. Hmm. Okay. Minutes pass. Hours. The sun finally begins its slow march across the sky. Just as the children's despair is threatening to overtake them, the woman returns. <sighs> Oof. Let's see. Her body oh. is ablaze in crimson, her breath a series of ragged gasps. I, I mean, where's where's the crim where's the blood? I'm just I'm just it's a valid question, right? But hey, she, she came out good as new. That's great. So in one hand, she grasps a number of severed heads, all that remain of the just clockwork noticed. soldiers. It's yeah, damn. In her what? other. She grips a bloody, tattered charm. Oof. She speaks then, softly but sternly. 
Okay. You see, my wish came true. So all of you need to pray to your charms. Um, I that's kind of dark. <laughs> Why would you say that to the kids? <laughs> you gonna... need to live. You need to thrive. Okay, good message. It's all right to cling to things you cannot see. So find that hope and never let it go. Yeah. And when you have children of your own, make sure to pass it down to them as well. Her voice falters. Are her words true? Or is she simply trying to convince herself? She doesn't even know anymore. Hmm. I think deep down she she's being honest. As she turns and walks away, the tears of the children begin their long descent to the earth below. And though their sadness threatens to overwhelm them, they continue to hold tightly to their charms. Oh man. Wait, and why did to their hope. Oh, music stops so suddenly. Yeah, hope. That's the message. Oh boy. That, I mean It wouldn't be a, a new year in near if it weren't tragic, right? Uh unlocked a record festive fountain hard mode. Oh boy. Okay, everybody, that is going to be it for now. So, in the next video, hopefully, it might be the second part of the sun and the moon. So, stay tuned for more of Near Reincarnation coming soon. So, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, smash like, subscribe, and make sure to smash that bell button so you know when I upload next time. And I'll see you later in the next video. Peace.